What's going on fellow weekend hunters? We are out in the woods uh, doing some scouting. But first things first, I've stopped at a private farm that we have permission to bow hunt at. Uh, Gabriel actually a couple years ago got his first and only kill uh, here with a rifle on opening day of youth season. So we're gonna check that spot out. Uh, I know I had the drone up a little bit ago and uh, the stand is falling over. So I'm gonna have to try to adjust that. But hang around with me for this video. We're gonna do some scouting, check on an old deadhead that I buried and see what kind of shape that's in as well. Let's go. Okay, I see the strap through the trees. Ow, as I just ran through a thorn bush. Hopefully it's still there. Oh man. Took that thorn right to the right to the thigh. Okay. Where'd you go? I see antlers. I see a skull. Well, it's there. It looks like something's been chewing on it. We found it, but something's been chewing on it. I think I probably waited a little bit too long to come back and get it. So let me uh, let me dig it out, and we'll see what it looks like. In pretty good shape overall, at least the skull is, but the uh, handler's got chewed up on. Uh, the back, I mean the skull itself is in really good condition. It uh, it's really chewed up, really ate up. It's a shame. Uh, I'm just happy I was able to find it uh, after two years. But you can see just how thick, how thick he was. He was just a massive massive thick deer great g2 size um, had that little kicker off the back he had this little little nub off the front and made him a 10 so uh, this was this is what the one I killed up at my parents place and uh, just kind of disappointed I'm sure I can come up with something cool to do with him come something cool to do with the head hang it somewhere maybe shave the the antlers down, I don't know, but we'll see. So now we're going to go uh, scout some some uh, trees. We're going to go scout some of this area, the ravine, uh, down, down over here, and uh, look for a place to hang the saddle, maybe get up in a tree and clear a shooting path on this private property. So stick around. We'll see you in a minute. So definitely... Need some work. And I don't know what Randy's dad has going on out here. He's got kind of an electrical fence. I don't know if he's trying to grow something and keep his cows out or, you know, keep it nice and green for the deer. But this is, looks like a good spot for some deer to come up and feed on. We came in that morning and Gabe killed his deer right right over there. And Buck just kind of popped out over the hill there and we had a doe that was right right over here that Gabe was gonna shoot and I couldn't see the buck back over there. Alright, so I got it back up in the tree the right way. But uh I need to get the strap, the little support, the ladder support. It's pretty loose, so I'm gonna grab a little cinch strap that I've got in the truck, or maybe just use the one from the that deer deadhead and uh, throw it up there. So I'm gonna go get that, wrap it up, and do some scouting.
I gave up on the uh, I gave up on the conservation area that had, I thought was going to have corn, that there were no corn. And so now I'm down the road at a huge conservation area that's probably every bit of 1,900 acres. Uh, I think it's probably pushing 2,500 acres. So huge conservation area. Rifle and archery are allowed out here. There's dove, uh, whale, a whole bunch of stuff. You name it, it's out here. So I'm uh, I'm just kind of out here. I'm not gonna get out and scout this uh, on my feet like I did with the other ones. That's what these are for. Uh, so I'm just kind of driving around looking, see what I can uh, see, see if something pops up. I'll take a look and mark it on on stand. So if anything notable happens, I will uh, get a video of it. I'll also probably fire up the drone here in a minute too and get some aerial coverage of that. So we'll see what happens. We're on our third uh, scouting place today. Third location of scouting today. And uh, ready, I'm ready to get home. Uh, we got some more scouting because uh, we're one day closer to deer season. Guys, I just got home. It is nine o'clock, so I was out scouting today for about eight hours. Uh, I got three three areas scouted. We started the day off out at Randy's, uh, Randy and Kelly's, and that place is super important uh, just because of it's where Gabe shot his first deer. But Randy was also such a tremendous friend to my in-laws and my family. Just a super sweet person, super sweet individual with a kind heart, a servant's heart. Uh, and so we love him. We're thankful uh, to have known him. He unfortunately passed away last year due to COVID, but we know he's in a better place. And so he was so kind when Gabe got uh, his buck a couple years ago and did everything he could to help. And uh, I, I just can't say enough positive things about him. He was a kind, sweet man, and so that that farm that Kelly is allowing us to still hunt at uh, is going to be it's going to be great. And I'm excited to get Gabe back out there again and hopefully get him his second deer. I got the the uh, buddy stand fixed from it falling down, uh, so that was that was great. I went out to what should have been the cornfield spot from the last couple of years. And uh, there's no corn. There's no corn field. And I don't. I saw. It looks like deer had been digging in, but I didn't see much else. I didn't see poop in the field. I didn't see any other major sign of deer activity. So at this point, I think that location may be off the table. I don't want to waste my weekend hunt at a place where I don't have a whole lot of activity or a lot of hope in seeing a deer. And then the third and last place I scouted, which was a spur of the moment trip, just because of where I was at. And it was tw it's 20 minutes from the cornfield uh, conservation area, and I got out there and I think I saw 15 to 18, uh, maybe more deer uh, tonight. Uh, and I got those marked, I got those areas kind of laid in, and especially early season uh, to get a doe out of the way. 
those locations will probably be great and as the season goes on uh, just to hone in of course once rut kicks in usually where there's a doe there'll be a buck close behind but we'll see what the season has in store but it was a good day uh, i'm excited we are two weeks from opening day and it can't get here soon enough anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video please remember to like comment subscribe share this video with your friends family anybody else that you know uh, that hunts remember being a weekend hunter isn't just the name of a youtube channel but it is a lifestyle 